Ever heard of the Lord of the Rings? Comic Con Brussels is having this insane lineup and I thought it would be nice to leave the scape for once and go there, be amongst my people and meet the actors. And do you know what's cooler than meeting these legends in real life? Meeting them looking like a nerd. So I want to attempt to cosplay your girlfriend's crush, Aragorn. We're making his fancy armor that you see for like five seconds. Let's just do this in two months, fuck, why not? So what do we need? We need some foam for the fancy armor pieces, we need some fabrics for like cloaks and everything, and we need chainmail. Lots of it. So are you gonna help? Oh yeah, and the wig. When will you wear wigs? Foam armors are not that hard. But have you seen this armor? It is full of engravings. Have you ever done engravings on foam before? The answer should be no, because you can't. Or at least not in a way that makes me go Mm. Now this looks like shit. Now I don't want to make engravings by hand all day like a fucking caveman. I need robots. I have been drawing for three days in a row and cutting with a laser cutter. It's actually not a lot of work, I don't know why I say it like that, but it looks amazing. Look how good this looks, you just cannot do that by hand, especially not on foam. All I have to do now is just glue it together. This is boring, so let's just skip all these hours of work and go to the part where it just looks good. Alright, chest plate, check. However, there is something I have been avoiding since the beginning, and that is his big ass cloak. Not really the cloak itself, because you know, that is just fabric, and I have done that before many times. However, the problem is the embroidery on top of it, so I'm gonna need some help. Be right back. <laughs> yep, that's Hey buddy! So anyway, I need this in like three weeks. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, you can't Yeah, see you next me. month, buddy. No, 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 Good no, luck. Bye-bye. <laughs> Alright. So now that's no longer my problem, I can just move back to Aragorn's armor. So now that I know how to have a laser cutter do all the work for me, I will be using this a lot in this video. And you might say, that's lazy. And you're right but I'm still gonna do it. Now for the remaining armor pieces, I did the same thing. I cut out the foam, I glued the foam. What do you want me to say? Everything I do is boring. And video. At least that's one of the pieces finished. All these pieces are kind of the same leaf looking things that I made with the laser cutter. I'm gonna spare you the boring edit. Anyway, time to make something cool. Enter the coolest sword ever. Undoable, Flame of the West. This sword is everything that I can never be. It is sleek, elegant, iconic and functional. Now sadly they don't allow deadly weapons on the convention floor, so I am going to make this... Wait for it. Out of foam. Alright, time to fire up Illustrator and whip up this prop. I'll export it as an SVG to get into the mainframe. Then it's off to Beam Studio for the import data. I gotta make sure the layers are color coded to get past firewall. Like stealing candy from a baby. Now I just gotta link the data to the open box gold hexa cutter and we're in. This laser cutter isn't even mine. Now here's what's different from before with the laser cutter is that I'm still using a laser cutter but now I don't have to just stack it or glue it, I have to sand it, I have to shape this sword into existence like a god so it's different now. Andugil has some interesting shapes and most sanding bits are round. But school has taught me something, big triangular thing does not fit in small round thing. Or was it the other way around? Anyway, to fix that we need to dremel with triangular things or 
cone shaped things. I actually bought a hundred of them by accident. So if you are buying, I am selling. To be honest, I'm actually nearing the end of this costume and I have way too much time left. So we need to make this interesting or people won't watch the video. So that's why I decided to add two more costumes. The Fountain Guard. I actually already started on the helmet in a previous video. Anyway, big spear. So for this spear, it's pretty easy. You just cut the foam, you glue the foam, you dremel the foam, important, and then you rinse and repeat. Literally, because I need this spear two times. These fuckers have Minas Tirith in them, because of course they have, and it's not actually a problem. I, I mean, Captain Ghostly has a laser cutter, so, you know. If you have ever seen a video of Kamui cosplay, you know she has one on how to divide your prop. I'm stealing that shit, so forget everything you know. Let's pretend this is the first time you've seen it here. So, my stupid ass forgot how a microphone works, but anyway, I'm just yapping about the spear and how long it is, and you know, you can just divide it, like that. And that's important, because you want to have it with you to the convention. So yeah. Anyway, I wonder how Mistvain is doing. You know, there's no need for you to worry yourself. It was for my own sake that I did all that. It wasn't for you in particular. It's just my nature. Okay, we continue. My best friend is gonna be one of the guards, so I need his measurements. So I invited him all the way over here to then do some wrapping like the old school days. And then just throw it away because I did my own thing anyway. So sorry if you're seeing this. Holy shit, I'm cutting out foam by hand. I still got it. I'm making everything with 5 or 7 millimeter high density foam from Cosplay Shop. 10 would be too bulky. Just like my Aragorn chest plate, but you know, can't go back now. <laughs> you may have noticed that I'm using super glue most of the time instead of contact cement. That's not because it's better, that's because I'm lazy. Super glue is fast and I'm running out of time. After burning away most of my fingerprints for those details, it's time to move on to the shoulder pieces. The shoulders were a pain in the ass because they are pretty big and I also had to freehand that shit. I just made like 4 or 5 mockups and then chose something that kinda looked like it. Oh yeah, and those big shoulders are like on top of the fabric, so that actually means that they can't move or whatever, but you know, not my problem. <laughs> I already regret adding these, but let's move on. Here's everything on a big pile. Now it's finally time to strap all that. Now the fountain guards imply to have a full chainmail skirt, but I don't want them nagging to me all day, so we are going to cheat the system. Basically, it's just big belt connect to small belt connect to chainmail. That's about it. Drawing. But here's the cool thing, nobody will know, because you have those white flappy things that my girlfriend is making. How's it going? She loves it. I made like 10,000 holes where chainmail has to be sewn on. The guards will have 5 kilos of chainmail while I have 25. The non-visible straps I made with these ugly things because they are faster. Normally I would glue those with hot glue, but I didn't have any left so I used super glue. Fun fact, those make the belts melt. It's super toxic, but you know, bonded forever. 
We have a week left, let's move on to priming then. Now I want to do this fast, because I have one week left and that's the only reason. I was told that it's easy to just add a bucket load of cost paint into a big spray can. So you know, this is just a regular spray gun on a compressor. We can just add our paint. As you can see, it's very liquid, but still a bit thick. You know, it's like yogurt. But you really have to add water, because if you don't, it just won't spray. But you also have to make sure to not add too much water or you'll just have droplets all over. And that's also not good. Yeah, this shit took me way longer than I anticipated, so let's just move on to the painting, please. I only learned to airbrush like three weeks ago, so let's just use this knowledge to paint everything with it. Now everything is steel paint, hooray! But do you remember all those fun details from before with the laser cutter? They all have to be gold, baby! So it's all by hand now. The convention is in two days. And of course every piece has to be shaded and highlighted to of course, you know, look good. And there you have it, one Aragorn costume and two fountain guards, equally created with love and sheer incompetence. And remember, if I can do this, you can do this. Probably better, uh, actually. Now the convention was pretty cool, as per tradition, we got dressed on the parking lot. Of course we did some test fits before, and my girlfriend looked like actual Pippin wearing it, so I had her wear the big mommy boots, so she didn't look like a silly goose. The con itself was really cool, like Comic Con really outdid itself. We got a lot of attention, which is every cosplayer's wet dream. I almost fainted, then I met Elijah Wood, I almost fainted, then we met some cool friends and I almost fainted. We got to sign Bernard Hill's book, I almost fainted. Here's the best tip for this entire video. If you go to a very hot convention wearing 25 kilograms of costume, eat something. We didn't. We had one croissant. Luckily, I had some Skibbity Sigma friends who gave me a Coke, the drink, or is it? And we also had Steve, you know, the owner of this whole place, who gave me some grape sugar, and I really needed it. Oh yeah, by the way, if you took a picture with us on Comic-Con Brussels Spring Edition 2024, chances are I was standing in my underwear, so I forgot my belt, and because of that, my pants were sagging down the whole time, and I couldn't pull it up because of all those fucking layers of costume. So they were on my knees pretty much all day. At the end of the convention we went into the event organizer who told us that we could perhaps meet the four Hobbit actors at the end of their photo shoot. So we did. We spent the last two months making all of this. It looks fantastic. It looks really good. We need one in each stage. We need a gown in each stage. Maybe in the middle. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. The mask here and then the guard on each side. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. Success! Wow. Success! Thank you very much. Nice! Very nice. nice. That's amazing, man. And yes, I am in my underwear on that picture as well. This project was a lot of stress, but I enjoyed it. So if you have an idea for a next video, let me know. Preferably something that doesn't involve 25 kilograms of metal on my body. Bye!